Okay, here we are back with our moose painting. I'm just going to clean up the edges of these mountains here just a little bit. Yours may be okay, but I just want to show you if your mountains have you see some pencil edges on it where we drew it or sharp edges. It's nice to get rid of those sharp edges if you can. I just took a bit of white and came at the back of the mountain here and just scrubbed a little bit on top of the mountain just so that it doesn't look like it's got a hard edge. So you can do that or you can leave it alone. It's up to you. Bring a little bit down into the mountain if you want. Okay. So you just um, try to soften up those edges is all I'm trying to do. Just so that you don't have edges of mountains sticking out. And you can make it a little more light here. So that it looks like really bright down behind the mountain there. The sun is really, really, really giving her some nice light. Okay, so that's all. I just wanted to show you that you can... i got a small little filbert brush here. And I'm just scrubbing that in there. Let's see what we can do over here. Okay, just at the very top of the mountain. Just so that, like I said, it doesn't look like it's... So dry off your brush and just scrub it. Scrub it into the mountain. And like I said, if you like what you see, don't do this because you could easily fold it up, okay? Fold it up like I just did. But, you know, to get rid of those uh, those lines, you want nice soft edges on the mountains. Now, normally you would make those soft mount edges when you're doing your mountains. Make sure there's no hard edges. Do that when, while you're doing your mountains rather than have to do it this way because now it's a little harder to do it now, right? So I'll just leave that for now. I'm just scrubbing it in. I wiped off my brush and scrubbing it around and so. So don't worry. It makes them a little bit brighter, but um, like I said, if you're happy with the way yours look, don't worry about it. Just scrubbing out the edges. Okay, now what are we gonna do now? So let's uh, I'm going to take my flat chiseled edge brush. And I'm gonna put some brown on one side. And that really dark color on the other side, the blue, I can add blue to the brown actually. Brown, burnt umber, and ultramarine blue make a really dark color. And we'll put in some, a piece of land right here. So just bring that over, straight over underneath your trees, your little bushes. Okay. So a little piece of land right here. Good. There we go. Good, good. Now, and then you're going to add a little bit of white to what you just made, that dark color. Just add a little bit of white, and you're going to go back over it. And you're not going to cover all that dark up. Now you're just going to put some light color over it. A little bit of white. There we go. Just bring it over. Just so it looks like a bit of land in the background here. Okay? There we go. There we go. Good. So we'll just leave that. You can do, also do that with a palette knife. I might have a painting. I might do a palette knife painting sometime with you. With you guys. And we can also make some uh, blue and um, burnt umber and make some bit of land right here. So pull out from the tree. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Pull out, pull out. Starting underneath the grass and pull out. I can't do this while I'm holding it up, so I'm sorry. So hopefully you can take your brush and put some blue and and uh, ultramarine blue and burnt umber and put it on here. I know I'm being silly. I know because you know when you're doing a video and you get lost for words, <laughs> you start saying stuff. Okay, so let's go. I would love for to see you guys make a video. You should make one. It's not hard. Just just videotape yourself and uh, painting, and you don't even have to talk if you can't think of anything to say. And just uh, upload it to yourself. And if you like what you see, then you can always upload to YouTube. It'd be fun. So make sure you get these 
little piece of lead going horizontal. I was going down this way a bit too much, I realized it. Okay, so I'm going to move out now. Horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. There we go. Horizontal. Okay, there we go. Pull them back into the, the grassy area. Because we'll be going over that again now in a minute. So that's just a little bit of rocks and land. Okay, and then we'll just continue on the other side. Put a little bit of rocks and land over here. Just touch and pull, touch and pull. Just touch and, or even tap, it doesn't matter, just to get them on there. Horizontal, horizontal. Okay. Just get that there. Good. I know it looks funny now, but you know, whenever you, when you start putting your highlights and everything on, it makes a big difference. Okay, so we'll put some highlights. I'm just dipping into some white. And I'm just going to scrape through with the chisel edge of my brush. Chisel edge of my brush. And that's all. And you just bump, bump. Just put some white starting at the top of your uh, heel right here and pull forward. Just little quick strokes, whatever works for you, whatever you feel. If you can touch and pull, that's good. Touch and pull. To at least get that much done. We can always do more touch-ups. And when I finish this video and you see things that you might want to touch up or do yourself, uh, all the things that you've learned, well then you can do your own touch-ups. You don't need me to tell you everything because by you know if you do a few videos or you start learning you can almost do a lot of stuff on your own and uh, I tell my students try not to get too dependent on me so that you can make your own decisions. So you have to make a lot of your own decisions after a while and uh, it's hard but you know you just learn as, as you go just relax and, and don't worry about it. Just do what you can and as soon as you get a painting that you really like, then that's all that matters is the fact that you like it. It's yours. So we got our, a little bit of a rock there. And it's, um, it's a quick one for me. You take your time and you'll get it even better. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our brush, our old brush, Bristol brush, and then we're going to take some more green, a little bit of yellow, okay, a little bit of green and yellow, and we're going to tap this again, just so, oops, okay, I don't like that color, let's add a little bit of the complementary color red, there we go. So let's come on down again, and come on top of those rocks, all right, there we go, a bit more green, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red in there. There we go. Tap down over the rocks. Need a little bit more yellow to brighten it up so you can see what you're doing. Go ahead. Down over the rocks. There we go. Now you don't want to cover them all up now because you want that nice little dark section down there. Alright. So i got a feeling we're not going to get the moose in this uh, lesson because I'm trying to do as much as I can with the highlights first and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up the water and I'm pretty sure that next video we will get the moose done. I'm pretty sure. I can't see why not. You know it's all in one video it's just that I'm breaking them up for you so you can get a little break and give me a break too so I can concentrate and think what I gotta do next. You know basically it's all it's a it's me too that needs to, to stop the video in order to get to figure out what else I want to do and what I want to show you and make sure I do it right, you know, as best I can. You guys seem to be really enjoying these videos. I get a lot of great comments. I can't believe it. It's wonderful. I'm so happy. You have no idea how happy I am. That's why I want to do better and better all the time. I want to do these better and better all the time. I want to get better at it so that you guys can learn a lot. And, uh, yeah, so I think I will take that and leave it because I don't want to go too long. Let's just add a little bit of, oh my, I better go. I better go before I fool around and ruin it. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video and hopefully we'll get the moose done. So we'll be doing the water and we'll be doing, so don't do that. That's a mistake. And I'll see you in the next video.